right at home in the coldest place on Earth, Dr. Nancy Birkler is a modern day explorer of Antarctica. Research in Antarctica is really important. New Zealand has a long history of a relationship with Antarctica with the exploration by Sir Ed Hillary and um, Sir Peter Blake, um, as well as its important role, of course, in the Antarctic Treaty and its stewardship in the Ross Sea region. By drilling deep into the frozen continent's ice sheets, Nancy is unlocking climate history from the past 70,000 years and beyond. And at the same time, she's helping New Zealanders to understand the consequences of a warming world. My focus, and that of many of my colleagues, is that to prepare the best projections of what will happen to New Zealand so that New Zealand is prepared and can make informed decisions. Growing up in Germany, Nancy was always determined to help save the planet. In 1999, she came to New Zealand to do her PhD at Victoria University, wanting to study ice cores. But with no one working in the field here, she teamed up with international partners in Germany and the United States to learn how to collect ice cores and analyse them. To ensure the world-class research would continue in New Zealand, Nancy was instrumental in establishing the National Ice Core Research Facility, which opened in Wellington in 2007. Her leadership and organisational skills have also been critical to the RICE project. She led the collaboration of nine nations and scientists from over 50 organisations to take ice cores from West Antarctica to better predict rising sea levels. While her scientific expertise lies in understanding Antarctica as a driver of climate change, Nancy also cares deeply about the impact these changes have on New Zealand. She speaks to government, community groups and the media and works with schools to increase awareness and motivate students to get involved in science. Whether we like it or not, it is the future generations that will bear the brunt of climate change. So it's vital for them to take up careers that help New Zealand to be able to adapt and mitigate. Nancy serves on a number of steering committees around the globe, concerned with Antarctic science. An extraordinary role model for young researchers, especially women, Nancy supports students and is an active mentor. I think what my work in Antarctica taught me more than anything was that a leader can't stand alone. Every team member has, a, has the potential to make very important leadership contributions and a good leader is odd to recognise that. Nancy Birtler is a deserving winner of a Sir Peter Blake Trust Leadership Award.